hello listeners of the Art Versations Podcast. Hello, welcome to another episode. Whew, that took a lot out of me. Um, hello, I'm Bree. Like the cheese. I am the host of the Art Versations Podcast. And if you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. I always welcome new listeners. I know there are a lot of podcasts to choose from, so I appreciate that you took the time to click on my name. Um, I just wanted to bring this up. A lot of people ask me why my podcast is rated as explicit. Um, And, you know, I have a fucking potty mouth. It's really bad. It's so bad because (laughs) children can't listen to this. They can't. They shouldn't. Um, And I do not condone that they should, that they would. Um, but I think it's important when you're making art and discussing art that you feel, um, uncensored. And I really think it's also important to let my guests, you know, say what they want to in the moment. They might be feeling an emotional drive and they should feel unhinged when they're, when they're talking about art. So if you have a problem with this, I'm so sorry. That's just how I roll. Speaking of my guest, this week I brought on Maxim Bartnowski. He is a photographer, although he doesn't like to label himself as just that. Um, and you can actually play a drinking game with how many times uh, we mention a student at the Ryerson School performance during our chat. He has shot almost every student here that's walked uh, the Ryerson halls. Um, and I think that's really admirable. I think it shows that he has a, a hard work ethic and that he's, uh, you know, trying to make it in the photography industry. Uh, so please enjoy our chat. It very much helps when people are like, but who do you think you are? And I'm like, I... Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, You're just yeah. like, look at the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Maxim. Hello. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Thank you I, for sitting Was that banter at the beginning? Because I'm glad. I was the yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is I keep it going, and then I smoothly... Oh, fantastic. Smoothly go into yeah, it. Yeah, so it's named after a clock. Good yes. Time. Okay. Yeah. And you said that if there was an E at the end, it would be more yeah, French. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, E at the end is quite stereotypically French. But you don't have an E, so no. where are you from? I am from Canada. No. You're from Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, yeah. I, um, I'm from Canada, lived born in Oakville, but born raised in the beaches in Toronto. Oh, you're from Oakville. Yeah, no well, way, okay. not actually. Like, I just that's just where they had the better uh, hospital. Oh, I see. You were my born were like, there. We okay. don't like St. Michael's, so we're gonna go to Oakville. I'm like, that's a bit of a mission, but well, I guess <laughs> I, I wasn't complaining. I wasn't born yet, so you know. You, you didn't have a choice, really. <laughs> didn't really have a choice. Just along for, along for the ride. No, cool. no big deal. And uh, yeah, now I was born the beaches or the beach, as some pretentious people call it. And if the person who I think may listen to this in the future, uh-huh. it's the beaches, not oh. the beach. Yes, there's <laughs> target audience. Yes, there? there's specific. I'm targeting one person. Oh no! Yeah. No, no, it's <laughs> the beaches. <laughs> it's the beaches. Who calls it the beach? Pretentious people and That's the beaches. Weird. Yeah, no. This, I mean, like, is there multiple shores? I mean, you could argue, but it's like. There's like Woodbine Beach, but still part of the beaches. Right. It's yeah. Like, no, it's the beaches. It's all next to the ocean. Yeah, it's like not the, the it's the blank. beaches neighborhood. Right, right. It's not <laughs> the beach. Like small ugh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways though. <laughs> but what's your background? Uh, my background is uh, my parents were born and raised in um, Romania and then they left due to communism. Mm. Goody goody. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now now they went to France first and then here and here I am. And you speak Romanian? Yes, fluent. Do you speak French? Yes, fluently. What else? What other languages? Just just English, French, Romanian. Oh, okay. And just because I speak uh, French and Romanian, which are Latin languages, if someone speaks in, like, Spanish or Uh or, uh, Italian quite slowly, I can pick up Hmm. on some things. That's impressive. And, yeah, it's a good time. (laughs) It's fantastic. Cool, cool. No, and, like, you're so into photography, it's an unbelievable. Oh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's my whole thing. <laughs> I think it's really impressive that you literally, since I saw you, we had a photo shoot together. Yeah. You've done, like, at least ten more uh, people. Let me see. I don't, I don't think it's been, has it been ten? And, oh, or, like, you're I, just so active, so yeah, busy. Yeah, no, what happened is I was supposed to have a photo shoot with someone on last Saturday, like, mm-hmm. right before New Year's. Okay. And then they, um, canceled. Oh. And then I was just like, whenever people cancel, I always have like a small panic being like, 
No one likes me. Oh no. Which just happened. It's just like it's. I, mean, I know it's false. I'm sure they just <laughs> had just something like, going on. Oh no, no, it's um their parents banned them. It was really funny. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, wow. I yeah, it's the pitch doesn't make sense. She she was uh, for reference. She was a first year, and I was no. I am a fifth year, but not actually, because I finished all my theater classes. You finished your theater classes. Yeah, so I'm done. I'm done. But then she's like, yeah, I told them that I'm going to a fifth year's house for a photography session. I'm like, yeah, okay. That's, meh. I probably wouldn't have let my kid go there either. Well, mm, I, I guess, yeah. Some parents <laughs> so I, are I fully understood. Yeah, I was like, yeah. More yeah, protective. Makes yes. sense. Yeah. Like, and, uh, yeah, so then that happens. Then I was like, oh, uh, let's just uh, message everyone I know. <laughs> and I messaged the, what did I message? I messaged, because I had a photo with Renee that same day. Mm. And I was like, Renee, people in your class, well, how, 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 are they in town? Like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I also messaged Crystal. Who mm-hmm. Crystal, too. Love yeah. Crystal. She's lovely. She's great. And uh, yeah, no, um, then I've got people, and I messaged Dana McDonald because I messaged like anyone. I have a list of people who I know have messaged me, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hey, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> well, you're making it happen, right? You have to reach oh, out. You have to. You yeah, have yeah. To. And I think also it's really cool that you're building your portfolio slowly and surely, right? Like nine, nine people. Nine people. Nine people. Wow. Okay, that's impressive. That's impressive. Uh, unexpected. I thought it would be like less, but no, it's yeah. Well, like yeah, we had since you, we had Crystal, Emily, my friend Nathan, Renee, Olivia, Dana, Dawson, Sierra, Will, Dandy. Wow. Yeah. And, and all those people are on your Instagram, yeah. which I will link below. Oh, yeah. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, Both yeah, of your Instagrams. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, no, just one. Just the one? Just one. The, the other one sucks. <laughs> I don't <laughs> use it. <laughs> I It's it's an account I kind of want to just post, like, photos here and there. Uh-huh. But it's lately just been my, like, hey, it's your birthday. Right. <laughs> birthday. Huh? Do you find those posts weird? Like, yeah. I don't know. For me, it's like, I could just message you directly and yeah. say, happy oh, birthday. Oh, 100%. But it's also an excuse to, like, oh, I have photos, like, that don't fit the one, two, three aesthetic that I have. So I'm like, I see. Mm, might as well. Mm-hmm. And I also posted for Christmas, because I always like posting anti-consumerist messages on Christmas, because it's like, <laughs> fun. <laughs> so Love. passive. Yeah. Passive aggressive. Oh, yeah. Consumerism. <laughs> what, what? Love it. <laughs> How did you get started in photography? Um, halfway through first year, I was about to try. I was in theater production in first yes. year, and uh, it's not an easy program to get into, but it's it's it's, it's easy. No, no, no. It, well, uh, like there's a lot of things that yeah, also. Yeah, there's a lot of things. It's there's not, a lot of um, different strands that you can yeah, go into. Yeah, it's not for it's not right? for everyone. I will say it's not for everyone. Mm-hmm. And um, halfway through then, I was just overworked because at that time. I'm not sure if it was in your year or the mm-hmm. year after you in which they just stopped giving show calls for uh, first years in first semester. Oh. Kind of the first semester now, we don't have first years. Wow. Yeah, not, but like in my year, they're like, yep, mm-hmm, you're working. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, in first year, I had to usher and everything. Yeah, oh yeah. So I get it. Wasn't that fun? It was actually. Uh, it, was it, not, it, was not, it was not bad, but. um. I didn't have like security. Oh, I had security. Because every time there was like a dancer who was like, I want to do, um, I want to be in-house. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the asshole. It's going to be like, no, you're security. And you'll be like, okay. Well, because, yeah, because if you're in-house, you get to watch. Yeah. Or, like, the ticket like, you know, and you get to leave early. Yeah, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm okay with yeah. sitting and, like, contemplating with my thoughts and being in my own head. And it's a good time. Do you usually act that way? Oh, yeah. I like, I like, I like I'm very much someone who can, I can stay in a space and just, like, disappear into my mind and just wow. sit there for a bit. It's a good time. That's why I don't smoke weed. Get stuff too often because that just gets stuck there and it's scary. Just and you stay there. there. But yeah, if you get the option of getting out and in and out and in, it's a good time. Do you find when you are photo sh- when you're shooting, like it's almost a meditation almost. for you? Yeah, it's like you can yeah, tap into I, the, I tap in, the shot. I, I, can, I get I get into as I don't exactly wait. What is, was I doing that at your shoot? Because I tend to like change my approach every once in a blue moon. Did I give you the the thing at all to like take pictures of yourself? No. Oh, I no, I did that. Once. No, I did I started, not take I any photos that recently. It was like a little remote. <laughs> Although I, I don't think in. I should touch your camera. No, 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 no I, just, I just plug it into um. I plug in like this little oh, thing. And I just like give little, it to people. Like a remote. Almost? Yeah, and I'm just like I I, was, uh, I forgot who it was, but I was just like. They're like, are you out searching the whole photo shoot process? Because I was not touching the camera. Mm-hmm. It was just the models just sitting there, lights on them, being like, click, oh. click. And it was just a good time. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm flat out just outsourcing the whole, well, <laughs> the then, whole yeah. process. Yeah. Well, because like, I, was, I was not doing anything. I was just sitting there being like, sorry, it was a conversation. Hmm. I was like, hey, click, click. Yeah. Because when I'm the, the model in yeah. front of the camera, I find that I... 
I I know kind of what's happening, but then I can't be the person on the other side. I obviously don't exactly look at the photos during the photo shoot. Yeah, so, you told me that. That's really interesting. I mean, it's like... Why do you do that? Um, well, I think it was, what, in second or third year. I was just slowly getting into photography at that point. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I would say I'd be, like, third year. Um, and what happened was... I don't. I don't like introducing myself as a photographer. I think artist is oh, really? easier. Okay. I think artist is easier. So like, I, I'm not if I'm just a photographer. I also do like theater. You're a creator. Yeah, yeah. You're, I'm an, a you're an artist. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like like dancers. Are like sure, they may focus or dance, but I know a lot of them. Like Hannah, our good friend Hannah Stein. Who Hannah Stein. Used to answer my messages. <laughs> <laughs> Same, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We're calling you We're out. We're calling you out. And, um, <laughs> And uh, no, she like she paints and like draws so mm-hmm. nicely, and I'm like, yeah, people should. There's some people who just do one thing, but like there's also artists who do a lot of different mm-hmm, things. Mm-hmm. It's so nice to just have more than one style of thing you can get to. So as an artist, yeah. as a creator, when you are in front of the at the back of the camera, yeah. you said you don't look at the. It's photos. like film. It's like yeah. So I was in, I was in, I was in, I was in third year, I think, and. What happened was someone was like, "This is Maxim. He's a photographer." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Oh crap! Now I have to like introduce myself." And the person I was introducing oh, myself to was uh, an, an actual photography student, and uh, they were like, uh, "Oh, you use film? Like, what, 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 what kind? What do you do?" I'm like, "Do you use film?" I'm like, "No, no, I, I use digital." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is the most, they laugh. Yeah, like you can't be a photographer if you don't use film. And wow. I was just saying, they're like. But it's so much easier. <laughs> also, I can be a photographer if I use my phone. So shut up. That's the thing nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my yeah, phones yeah. are good. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't shit on people who use their phone because like they're good cameras. Yeah. All you need is good lighting. That's it. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna invest in photography studio, first invest in the lights and then a sound system. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then a camera because cameras like you can do a lot with just a phone or like mm-hmm. a cheap camera. It's, yeah, the only the camera just makes it higher definition, but mm. you don't exactly need it. Yeah. And like being a photographer, but you don't want to label yourself as that. That's also like no, I mean I can't, I can't right? be, I'm a photographer, but like I'm also like I don't do just photography. So right? Yeah. yeah, you work a lot in photography. And yeah. You take you also like take photos of our of our dances oh, yes. at school, Shut which up. is Vicky such Saint a big Denis. job. Thank yes, you. <laughs> Vicky, thank you for the job. Um, it's such a big also job to like, funny. yes, <laughs> the whole faculty, the whole faculty. Actually. what's up <laughs> <laughs> to have to like, look at a big stage and figure out how the angles work. Do you look at the photos when you're doing that? I, some only what I, this year was different because okay. at a, initially I did choreo and that was my first time doing dance photography. Mm. Yeah. I did like choreo 2019. You said yeah, so, last year, yeah. Yeah, so correct. Playing, oh my god, that's 2020. I know. <laughs> and um, what happened was, um, I was just—it was my first time taking pictures. Mm-hmm. So uh, I had a this, the fact because it, it was part of my show call, and uh, the faculty gave me a 32 gig SD card, and I was like, bash 32 gigs. <laughs> when I have my own photo shoot, I don't fill up like five gigs. Like uh-huh. it's gonna be so no problem. And halfway through the show, I think it was half, like right after intermission, I think it was Particulate Mass by Ethan Kim. Uh-huh. My SD card just filled up. <laughs> Get out. Yeah, I was just like sitting there like, ah. Uh, You're freaking out. Yeah, crap. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then I like panicked and ran all the way to like the, um, not the, you know, the production office on the uh-huh. side. And I plugged in the SD card to my computer, put everything, started uploading to Google Drive. Wiped the card after everything was downloaded. Went up. I think I lost five pieces, but I still, I still like yeah. Who was it? I think Sarah Nelson was like, hey, um, this piece is missing, and I was like, yeah. That must <laughs> about have been that. terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So that since then I've during been just, the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to go and run. Yeah, yeah. Oh it was my god. Not a good time, but I learned my lesson. You learned it. Okay? Two sixty four gig SD cards, <laughs> so I'm good to go. Wow. But uh, yeah, no. What I do now is. This year, Vicky was more than nice. It let me come to dress rehearsals. Mm. And I was able to see the show, like, three times, pretty much. Yeah, so... Uh, Thanks like, for coming. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. Loved it. Mm. Yeah, and um, I got to shoot the first night. And after the first night, I went home, and I checked my settings. I'm like, okay, these are the photos that turned out nicely with these settings. And then on the day of, which was, I guess, your dress rehearsal. Because I, I came to tech dresses. Mm. And after your actual dress, I showed up with, like, actual notes of, like, oh, this is... Mm. This is exactly what I need for each piece because each piece was obviously different lighting. Mm-hmm. And I just did that. It was a good time. And I think the f- 
I like the fact that I have I don't like the fact that I have the Merce Cunningham pieces photos and I'm like I don't I can't do anything with them no you can't I can't and I'm just like I'm happy I, I wish you could do I know. something with like, them like, as a piece, person and I'm just saying there's like I'm editing these photos and these are going nowhere I know, <laughs> I know. we'll have to figure out yeah, how that because yeah. I'd love to see them oh they're, they're not, I feel like I just showed them to you at one point but um, I don't think I can just post them yeah no thing. probably not yeah which I won't with the <laughs> um, my aesthetic anyway so yeah yeah no with the four pieces in our show yeah. you said that each has its own different lighting and yeah. so does that affect how you set up your camera oh yeah yeah it changes the ISO yeah, yeah, the ISO, <laughs> ISO the sensitivity the, the shutter what speed what is that in what the is sensitiv- it? Sensitivity. Sensitivity? It's just like, yeah, I okay. don't, I just know how to use it. I don't know the definitions. I'm a bad photographer. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I know how to use things and I know, but like the technical knowledge. Don't you're, le- you're learning on the job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I read a lot of books at one point and it felt like I was losing my creative process. Because mm. if I was just reading, I was, I was very knowledgeable. And at one point I was like, oh, I'm just being technical. I was just okay. being like, oh, okay, you're too academic. Like this. And too academic. And I was like, okay, well. That's why I like doing the things the way I do it now, which was inspired by Clown. Because mm-hmm. I worked on Clown in third year. Yeah, nice. third year. I love that job. Oh, yeah, good times. It was with my years, so it was a good time for new people in the year. And uh, I was just like, I just saw how the process was just, let's just play, and then we'll figure things out as we move. Like, mm-hmm. they, they play, they, they just jumped off thing you know it's as very a, as an assistant stage manager was like oh no don't do this <laughs> <laughs> don't die they kind of go in yeah. and the audience and then too, since right? then I was like oh this is this could totally be applied to uh, my photography because I can just be like do whatever you want and mm-hmm. I don't have to like worry about oh do this don't mm-hmm. do that because then if you always tell people do this do that then you're limiting yourself to only what you know hmm. right because it's like only I have, I have these ideas in my head do this do that so it's like only have, you only have your ideas versus if you're like do whatever you want okay. then that person would be like oh I have these ideas too let me bring them to the thing hmm. so it's a good time so you're, you're adapting you're, yeah, yeah. you're using and then you always the have subject new stuff. yeah you always have new stuff you always have cool. new people new processes I like sometimes taking like a one year break between photo shoots between two people well, the same person mm-hmm. I got a photo shoot with Hannah Stein just because one of my favorite people. Hannah Stein, um, answer my messages. I had a photo shoot with her. <laughs> 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 Hashtag answer your messages. Uh, <laughs> I had a photo shoot with her, I think, in, like, August of 2018. Uh-huh. And I had another photo shoot with her, like, 70 weeks later, like, the following year in 2019. And, the pro- like, it, the style changed. And it was mm. nice to see how the style changed from, like, when I f- was in, when I was first starting up with dancers versus now when I have... I think almost half of your class. You have so many of them. I'm missing like three, so. We're all on your wall. I need like three more. <laughs> if I get three more dancers from your class, I'll have half of your class. I'll be a happy camper. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. Uh, oh yeah, that was that references the fact that I, have, I take pictures of the eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to tell people it's yeah, the coolest it's, thing ever. It's, it's 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 cool for some people. People are like, oh, what the I hell think it's is? Really this? Interesting. I think it's cool. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so yeah. So you have a picture of the right the person's eye. There's no symbolism between the right eye. It's just I like eyes. They're right. nice. Everyone's unique. It's nice. And it, it's a really tight close-up, and you have them all stacked along your wall and yep. your door. Yep, yep. And then it's like a, it's like all of a sudden you can just see the resume right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's easy. It very much helps when people are like, but who do you think you are? And I'm like, I... Ta-da! Really like yeah. <laughs> like, oh, You're just yeah. like, look at the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like having a certificate yeah, on yeah, the wall like, hello. Yeah. And now uh, the wall's full, so now I'm going over my closet. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's just I'm running out of space. No, yeah, yeah. cause oh, yeah. it's, it's been so active oh, yeah. doing photo shoots. It just goes and goes and mm-hmm. it's nice I don't have to like reach out to people that much anymore. Mm. I used to have to and I'm so shy. I'm very much like, hey uh, please. <laughs> yeah. Please. But uh once but you again, gotta take the initiative. I I think Crystal was one of my first dancers that I know was my first dancer for sure. This is something I also wanted to ask you. Is yeah. it different shooting dancers versus oh, other artists? One hundred percent. Okay, have to um well, mostly because dancers have a very... They're mobile. They move. They know their bodies, you know. Um, mm. Exactly. Abstract. I'm very much like, go abstract. They'll be like, oh. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. First, like, um, if I work with... Um, who was I? Who can I call out? I call my friend Elliot, who uh, is a business student. He's great. Uh, love you. <laughs> um, but, like, he's not... He's very much more... People who don't dance tend to just be like, okay, so I'm sitting here. I am the model. And I'm like, no, no, you're also a creator. You're also part of the process. Mm. Like, oh, like, do I move? 
like, he's not a good example because he knows what he was doing. But like, I'm just giving him an example. So I can't think of someone off the top. The of my idea, head. yeah. But uh, yeah, most yeah, people yeah. who are not dancing. Like, if I were someone who, like, if I were to change the place with you, I'd probably just be, like, be sitting there, like, like mm-hmm. you'd have to tell me a lot of point. Look this way. Look that way. And mm-hmm. I wouldn't just be spontan- spontaneous, being like, oh, do this, do that. I'd just be like, you're not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look here. Oh, that's bright. That's... <laughs> No, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I mean, also with dancers, we we tend to know kind of our angles yep. or like oh, yeah. use different body parts that normally wouldn't be used. I guess. Oh, yeah. no, no. Like even with our photo shoot, oh, yeah. like yeah. using yeah. my legs. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That that happened with yeah. Crystal because that's that's why it's that that photo shoot sticks out to me. Uh-huh. Because I had a photo shoot with someone, and it's the first time I think she's won my I think number. Like 60 or something I don't exactly know what number she was and uh, she was just like can you take pictures of my feet which is honestly the oddest thing for a it's male a like, fetish, for, for like yeah. a male photographer like, you're like can you take pictures of my feet you're like ah um, this, this is normal like, yeah. yes like I'm, I'm also someone who's like let's not say no to things because then you never know if that's what true it, which it ended up helping me with my um I was going to call it my thesis, but it's my ISP. Mm. So, I can't, we can't call it a thesis. This is anymore. your portfolio you yeah, were showing yeah. me. And uh, it was fun because I did, um, for actors, I did pictures of acting, dance, and production. Mm-hmm. And my my approach for each was slightly different. That's when I figured out how I like to do things. Cool. So for um, acting, I wasn't exactly sure how to showcase acting. Because mm. I know, like, actors, you go on stage. It's not necessarily yeah. something to be like, pictured yeah, or yeah, yeah. photographed. It's because you go on stage and you you can just sit still and you're like, you're it's acting. an action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I asked um, a love bunch of lovely people and like Ben Yoga Nathan and like Bobby Markov and Maddie Hodges. And all the peeps. All the peeps. <laughs> all the peeps. And um, I was like, yeah, just what is acting to you? And then they'd be like, oh, character or like Michael Romero was like. Uh, Oh, it's like a visceral feeling with within you, and like, oh, oh man, you're 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 so awesome. Good job. <laughs> That's a cool. So yeah, that was oh, wow. Love, yeah, Michael was one of the very few people who came to my photo shoot with like a lot of ideas. Mm-hmm. Very much, I'm just I'm someone who's like, you come to my house for my photo shoot for the photo shoot, and I'm just like, cool. Let's just figure it out. We mm-hmm. have a coffee, and then we figure it out as we go. Mm-hmm. But he's like, okay, so I have these like ideas with like matches, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you're more prepared than I am. <laughs> Well, okay, then, I guess. We could, we'll figure it out. Yeah. You're going with it? That was a good time. And then for them, I just focused on specific elements of what acting is to them. Uh-huh. Then for um, dance, I was like, well, let's focus. Initially, my main idea was let me just take pictures of different styles of dance. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I was like, that's going to be difficult. <laughs> well, because also... Like, what are styles yeah, of dance? Exactly. Like it seems like they're so meshed together yeah, yeah. nowadays. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, mm-hmm. I'm like, also, what if the person's just not good at that style of dance? Like, uh-huh. what if I can't find the right person? And okay, I see. What ended up happening was, oh, let me just think more basic of what is dance, and very much just moving your body. Mm-hmm. And the simplest, it, no, in the simplest is. term, it's just moving oh, your yeah. body. It's and, the physical um, exertion of the body. Yeah, exactly. And um, <laughs> what happened was, I was like, okay, well, let's just focus on the body. And then I thought, okay, let's take pictures of. For, let's show the process of like first when you start first start dancing to when you where you are now so mm. like I went with first years in which you just focus on hands and feet oh. which is thanks to Crystal Tam I right. was like oh I can take pictures of feet and show them my portfolio <laughs> of like it's not a fetish thing and it's, it won't be yeah weird. it's yeah. desexualized it's desexualized yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It was, it's, and then I took a picture of Sam Oliver and Liam Woodvine Shout out Liam Woodvine. What's up? Hi, Liam. Um, for um, first years. And then second years, I had Sophia and Jared. Mm-hmm. Uh, third years, Cassandra and uh, Ethan Kim. And fourth years, for fourth... Oh, yeah. Let me go back a bit. <laughs> so for second years, I focused on arms and legs. Uh-huh. Third years, I focused on backs and chest. And fourth years, oh, I was initially just going to be like, do whatever you want. And then after that, after my photo with uh, Bianca Fu... I was like, oh, well, actually, maybe this, do whatever you want, is not going to, doesn't have, it doesn't sound good. Like, oh, hmm. do what, I love to do whatever they want. It's too vague. Mm, too too vague. General, yeah, so yeah. then I used that as an excuse to just work with someone new. Because I'm like, as much as that photo shoot was absolutely lovely, I'm like, hey, I can work with someone new. Mm-hmm. Good excuse. So I work with Caitlin Seibold, who is lovely, who is much taller than I thought she was. Yeah. So when I first met her, I think I was in an elevator, and... I was like, oh, you're at my height. And then she came to my house, and I'm like, oh, you're, <laughs> oh, my God, you're, I'm looking up at <laughs> She's you. like okay. a gazelle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then so I, for, I decided for fourth years it would be classical and modern. 
because mm. then we can just easily focus one person is classical one person. That's, that's also pretty classical <coughs> and modern yeah. so do you mean in the way that you light it in the way that they move in the way that they move in the way that in they, the way they move. move cool so like um I think Braden did something with their hands like this mm -hmm. I, I, I mean like I a trumpet almost yeah almost like a trumpet or like something like that and um Caitlin I don't know the dance wording but she's like going like this like some sort of ballet -ish. yeah yeah like first just, position it, almost. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. fun because like she she's has very long arms and I don't have to be like please like a bit tighter and she's like it's not proper form and I'm like yeah <laughs> she think <laughs> it was small <laughs> but uh yeah it was a lovely shoot and then for and then for production I was uh -huh. just like let's just production or unlike actor dancers more often than not they're not exactly the most comfortable in front of a camera hmm where you're being behind the scenes. It's, yeah, you guys. It's just how it is. Yeah. So I focused on with production. I, I didn't even have to even, like ask because I was like, it's what I do. So I focused on like this on different kinds of design, like costume, lighting, mm. yada yada, and that's easy to showcase because I'm like lighting. You just put some stuff and like this is lighting. This mm -hmm. is the proper lighting. Then for like put some gels or something, <laughs> and then for sound, I projected. Uh, yeah, how do you show sound on Oof, that was, that one, photography? That was fun. Uh, I used projections. Okay. And I uh, projected uh, sound waves, like frequencies. Oh, ah, smart. That was a good time. With Nick Chinchada, lovely man. <laughs> um, and uh, then for, uh, who else? The costume, we just put fabrics over Nick Fassbender. And for management, because that's also a necessary part, mm -hmm. I put a bunch of string, and I was just like, it looked as if... It kind of looks like Pan's... If you find the photo, it looks like Pan's Labyrinth. Like, it'll, mm. people are like, oh, it's like Pan's Labyrinth. And I'm like, kind of? Yeah? Do you mean like it's... Uh, it's like, it's chaotic. It's like a bunch of string. A and maze. Like a maze of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's... Managing the yeah, string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I get it's, you, I get you. And uh, for set design, it was one of the only times in which I was like, you know what, you can be creative. Uh -huh. Which I just gave... I bought a bunch of little, like, little maquette, like, chairs and whatnot. And I had, like, a little piece of plaque, like a plexiglass, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you just make your own little set design I'll take photos of your hand oh cool so, like a little model yeah. yeah it was nice so you have these three yeah in your portfolio dance acting production and you've been able to reach out to basically almost everyone oh, yeah. in our school oh yeah it was, it's, it's not nice. kind of nice it's to have so like nice. a sea of people <laughs> that you can be like work with me work with me yeah. work with me oh it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's so nice it's it's honestly also thanks to um uh, Hannah Stein like Hannah I worked with Hannah and then I was like hey uh Looking for some new people, and then mm -hmm. she like sent like six people my way. Good. And I was like, thank you. That's how it gets started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then after, I, then one thing I learned about dancers: if you work with one, you just work with all of them because mm -hmm. they just will keep reaching out. Well, I'm we so all thankful. need to be photographed I'm so for thankful. auditions and stuff like it's that. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like very, very happy with my photos. Thank you. Definitely. I'm, all, all glad. I'm glad. Yeah. You're happy. Yeah. Definitely check out Maxim if you ever need some photography. Yes. Stuff. Um, so what do you what what are your plans? Because you're still in school, yeah, technically. Uh, tech, tech, you're yeah. taking a few courses. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing um, I'm doing a double minor. So I'm doing a in what criminology and marketing because marketing <laughs> is like useful. Yes, it's, it's very business. well for photography. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> it's good to but know some business. Criminology too. Criminology is like it's also just a very humbling thing to study. It's crime. I'm oh assuming. yeah, it's it's like it's that's crime. It's like that's such a harsh like oh it's crime it's more of a is it why do people do the things they do ah. like I took a whole class on um, indigenous uh, governance nice. and the whole time I was just there like man the Canadian government is not that nice to First Nations people yes <laughs> we've actually this is like the third time I've brought up indigenous people on yeah. podcast and like, seriously God like damn. yeah <laughs> Like, I was like, yes. Uh, in my head, because I went to, like, what, English school education. I was like, oh, Same. it's not that bad. And then I was like, oh, it's bad. Good for you for being educated <laughs> it's, it's and really informing bad. yourself. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's, it's a good. Also, my, my dad builds um, hospitals, and he built a hospital in the Sioux Lookout. He's an architect. Wow. That's the house. Yes, um, yeah. his parents' house, or well, his house is... Very nicely yes. designed. Yes. Yeah. Your kitchen shut up, shut up is... Shut my parents. <laughs> your kitchen is literally, like, the epitome of... A closed off kitchen where you don't really see the appliances, but they're there. Oh, they're there. And they're, they're just, all neatly they're very, Yeah, tighted. they're very, like, stored and, like, very tightly. Ugh. If you don't put things... It's like Russian dolls. If you don't put things 
exactly how the day came out. It's like, yeah, it's not going to fit. No, and like I, when I went to hers, I was like, this turns me on. How yeah, it's, organized it's, it's, it is. It's, it's, it's really, it's organized. Yeah. It's, it's, I lived alone for a whole month and I was like, oh man, this is getting you miss difficult. It. Yeah. <laughs> no, so it was getting difficult. So like, I don't know where this thing goes. Uh, <laughs> did it go here? And I was kind of like first and I'm like, no, it's not going here. It's, it was a good time. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, so you're double minoring, yeah. and you decided, are you just taking the one year to do that? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll be done in wow. June. Good for you. Mm-hmm. So we're graduating at the same time? Yeah. Amazing, 2020. Yeah, graduating with you, guys. it's going to be a good time. Yeah. The class of, it's all like, I still, it's all because I finished all my theater classes, so in my head I'm like, I finished theater school. You did, yeah. I am the class of 2019, but I'm also like, I'm the class of 2022. Everyone's on their own yeah, path. Yeah, it's on their own path, yeah, yeah. 100%. They're There's so no, good. I think it's really cool that you want to try and have other classes oh, in, yeah. your, in your credits. Oh, yeah. and I feel like, like just yeah. doing theater is just limiting. Yes. You just do one thing. You're like, mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go outside. So what's your education? Theater. It might not be enough, you know? Yeah. Like, And I also think, um, are you, do you have plans to do graduate school oh, no, or no, no, no. Just, school Just the two minors. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Cool, okay. Yeah, my, my grades are not even that high. I'm just like, I'm just doing it for the education. Nice. The way my brain works is I'll listen in class. I won't do all quizzes and tests. But like about a year after I take the class, you can ask me about it. And I'm like, oh, well, this happened in this class. And mm-hmm. I can just like, things process slowly, but they mm. stick. They stick. Yeah, it's a good time. Hmm. Gotta love, gotta love education. You're always a student, right? Yeah. Like yeah. I, I have that philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's interesting that you want to learn new things and, like you say, do it for the education, because that also might tap in somehow oh, yeah. into your vo- photography oh, or your practice. Hundred um, percent. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's, uh, like there's also like the criminology classes are also about, like very like law heavy, mm-hmm. which is fun. Okay, do you like, study, like, cases? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, a lot of uh, false uh, <laughs> convictions and false uh, confessions, and it's like, man. False convictions. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Oh, it's just like, <laughs> no, like, not false convictions, like, false confessions, like, when uh, a person's, like, uh, when police pressure people and be like, yeah, yeah, just take the plea. When, like, no, I'm not guilty. Oh. It's like, yeah, well, we don't have money to get a lawyer, so... I'm so guilty. far removed from all of this. I have no idea it's, what you're talking honestly, about. Honestly, me too. It's honestly thanks to uh, this class. This class, yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. All these few classes, it's been a good time. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a good time. Do you, what, what's your next project? Like, are you, besides shooting at your, your house, do you have know. any shows that you're going to be shooting oh, or? Uh, I don't think I have any shows I'll be shooting at a lot of my things are last minute. Oh, are they? Like people like message me and be like, hey, next week? And I'll be like, yeah, I guess I'm not doing anything. What's your what's like? What's your budget? No, you like can be uh, flexible with that. Yeah, right? I like knowing what the budget is. Yeah. If it's too little, I probably won't do it. For sure, because as much as I'm to. like, look, I want to be like. Even if people like, even people I like, if like they, someone messaged me recently, being like, oh, take photos for our sh- company, mm-hmm. and it's like the same amount of money. The only for six people, they have the same amount of money as uh, how much I would charge for one person for headshots. And I'm like, I don't think I can, like, That's do enough. that. Because then if I do that, people who have actually charged that money for headshots will be like, wait, what the hell? You have like, to be consistent. Yeah, so mm-hmm. like, I, I'll stick to my guns. And I'll, I'll try to find a way to help them. Like, maybe not give them many options. Hmm. For, like, just here are the photos I'm giving you. Mm-hmm. Mwah. Not okay. that many options. Like, not give you, like, I think I gave you how many headshots? You gave me, like, yeah. 20, <laughs> I don't remember. 15. I don't remember how many headshots I gave. I'm just like, these are the good ones. You were very saying, generous. I'm just saying, like, six to eight is a good amount. But I'm not also, I'm also someone who's like, I will give you more if there's good ones. I'll just Honestly, not that's really ones. nice. Like, that's a very generous thing, and I think... Headshots are so expensive. They are Usually. so expensive. Oh, my God. They're so expensive. Especially, too, as an emerging artist, I think it's important to help each other. Oh, yeah. And so I love that you, you know, like you say, you do something that you can, even if you're not oh, yeah. really getting paid, like... Yeah, yeah. Or if you're getting paid and it's a lower rate, like... Like, um... We have to help each other out. Did you ever see the um, Bar in the Park show over the As summer? you like it? Y- yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. It's, yeah, beside my house. Mm-hmm. And uh, what happened was a um, director messaged me, and I were I took pictures of him at a... Uh, it's Dave, right? Yeah, Dave, yeah. I took, uh, we love Dave. At, at classics? Yeah, classics. And then mm. he just messaged me, being like, hey, uh, you take photos. Can you take photos of our, of my show? Our budget's... I was like, yeah, sure. Well, 
what's your budget? And I go, $50. And in my head, I was like, oh, crap, I can't, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. And like, that's so little. Yeah. And then I was like, but well, I'm not going to say no, just because that makes me look money hungry. And I'm that's not true. money that's hungry. That's true, that's true, yeah. So, like, let's get some more details, and then I'll just mm-hmm. reject. No, I'm not actually. I, mean, I would have been, <laughs> been much nicer about it. And then he was like, yeah, it's at Kew Gardens. I'm like, oh, it's outside my house. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess 50 bucks is fine. Okay. <laughs> like, like, yeah, it was like, it's by my house. It's not as if I've, like, commute or anything. Mm. I just walked outside. So you had to negotiate that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's, yeah. Like, there's things you can negotiate. And if, if you make it worth my while, if, if I can see it as an incentive, I'm like, sure. Mm-hmm. And I also got to network. So I got to meet a lot of actors, mm. which was fun. Also, you must not have been there the day I was there then, because I would have seen you. Uh, I was in the background. I hide. So did I, actually, because I went alone, and I was uh, like, ugh, I'm so awkward, I'm alone. Yeah, and no. it was also, there were a lot of kids, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, park. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm know. sitting there by myself. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny, sorry to go on a tangent, but this girl is sitting in front of me, literally turns around, this, like, eight-year-old girl, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she just kind of gave me, like, the death stare of just, like, why are you alone? Yeah, like, like oh, do you have kids, friends? Kids are so sad. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just here to see art, I'm sorry, I didn't have any people that wanted to come with me. I, when, when I worked at um, PYC camps uh, two years ago. That's the Ryerson, yeah, yeah, like, the Ryerson youth camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's this one kid, and I love that kid. I think his name was Nathan. And uh, he, uh, imagine it's like a 10-year-old kid, and you go up, he comes up to you, and the first thing he ever says to you is like, one, 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 one day, you're gonna die. And, and, <laughs> And, and that's okay. And I'm like, yeah, think. Wow, kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I, I told Stab, because I'm like, oh, my God, Stab. Like, this kid's amazing. This mm-hmm. kid's so, like, he thinks. And, like, Stab was like, you can't so talk to the kid. Like, you can't say stuff like that. And since then, I was like, he told me other stuff. I just didn't go to Stab anymore. I was like, I'm just, I'm not going to snitch. I'm not going to snitch my little buddy. Because the next thing he told me was, um... I'll always set your expectations low and you'll never be disappointed and I'm like this kid like this sounds like, like he's on an existential crisis yeah like he's 10 <laughs> he's half my age and I was like yeah 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 and um the last thing he ever said cause um we're not allowed to, like let them eat lunch alone uh-huh. like we I mean we're, we are but Super like, eating lunch yeah. alone okay why are you eating lunch alone and uh, I went up to the kid I'm like hey uh are you okay like don't you have any like friends to, like eat lunch with and he's like no I don't like making friends. Like, oh, why not? Aww. Friends always disappoint. And like this ten-year-old kid, I was just saying, like, oh, I'll just eat lunch with you. Be sad with you. It's fine. <laughs> you made a friend. Oh, he, was, he was such a lovely kid. Did um, you enjoy working at, in the camp? It was an interesting experience because it was. I'm someone who dresses in black all the time. And I'm wearing gray, which is ooh. <laughs> no, I actually was like, wow, he's colorful oh, today. Oh, colorful today. No black turtlenecks. No it's no a great turtleneck. Steve, it's, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Steve Jobs oh, again. Yeah. Yeah. I've got blue socks on. And um, <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep it hidden. But um, yeah, so then, colorful. Um, I think, I forgot who it was, but I think Bonnie sat me down and was like, you're dressed, you're dressing black too much. It's scaring the kids. And I'm like, the kids? Okay, fine. And then I went to Joe Fresh that same day and bought like, six or seven different shirts like t-shirts that have the, like the exact same model just every one is a different color okay and then just every day I wear the exact same outfit it's just a different color <laughs> I, I'm I've been trying to do that it's because <laughs> I find that I take so long well, that's to where think we're black what I want to wear how I want to look like what am I doing that day could it be potentially something I'm going to sweat in like having like a similar outfit. It's, like, it's a Lisa Simpson for you. Simpson. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, Do you I find am. that is something like because I think it might make you seem typical yeah. that you're wearing the same the thing. The main reason why I wear turtlenecks is because um, I think I wore a turtleneck two days in a row or three days in a row uh, last what a year and a half. Ago? Like at some point during my third year. And I think uh, Bonnie was like, do you only wear turtlenecks? Like someone said, do you only wear turtlenecks? I honestly have never seen you out of a turtleneck. Yeah, exactly. That, that's only because <laughs> of that. And then she, I was like, I don't only wear turtlenecks, but that's not a bad idea. But like, you do. <laughs> yeah. So like, since then, I, just, like, went, I went to Uniqlo. Shout out to Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Not that they'll sponsor me. Please sponsor me. And, um, please sponsor please, me. Please, please sponsor us. <laughs> we'll wear it with The whole pride. dance program. You can see. You can see what we're wearing in this it's just like, sound-only podcast. It's great. Um, <laughs> And um, what happened was, yeah, I wore five black, bought five black turtlenecks, and I had them numbered, so I'd wear a different turtleneck every That's day. That's awesome. And That's so funny. It was great. People, people just thought, oh, he hasn't changed. Like, do you not, like, change clothes? And I'm like, no, no, no. And I had, like, a little tag with, like, the number, but no, no, this isn't the fifth one. <laughs> it's laundry day. It's a different day. shirt. It's laundry day today. <laughs> Yeah, you're like a cartoon yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, that, my, that was my whole approach. I'm like, let's yeah. just... 
you know, I'll just think about it. You wake up, mm, what am I going to work today? Turn on. The nuns, <laughs> nuns do it. And I'm like, nuns know what's up. Just wear the same That's thing every day. That's true. They do wear the yeah. same thing every day. Yeah. Also, like, uh, someone who has to wear, like, a uniform. Oh, yeah. I it's like, it. it's your uniform for yeah. success. It's 100%. Yeah. There you go. But in, in photo shoots, I don't think I always wear turtlenecks. I think at photo shoots, I'm a bit more relaxed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'll wear a nice sweater or, like, a t-shirt. What is it about the neck being covered up it's that cozy. you enjoy? It's just cozy. It's nice and twisty. You can, you can, oh, you can hide your yeah, mouth like, if you need yeah, to. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice. It's also like, what's funny is that my parents are architects, so they also wear black turtlenecks. It's the amount of times that uh, we go see shows and we're just like, not intentionally, we're just matching. The turtleneck family. My parents, like I went to, um, I went to, uh, I forgot what show it was. It was I think it may have been Springworks last okay. year. And I came with my parents and someone's like, oh, your parents are here? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Which ones are they? And I'm like, the ones dressed like me. <laughs> the ones that... The black turtleneck. They birthed ones. me. Like, the, 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 the I came out of the you, womb you can tell, wearing you can, a turtleneck. You can tell, you can tell we're... Yeah, connected. We're connected. So it's it's. Fast. You guys must take the nicest family portrait. We portraits. don't take family. We're all very shy people. <laughs> like there's there's no if you go yeah my social media is like no pictures of me. It's all of the people. Yeah, all of the people. And you have to like do don't have to do too much research because I put my name. Just look me up on Facebook, mm-hmm. and you can easily find me on Facebook. I will link that below. You don't have to find me. You don't have to find me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> my Facebook is lame. <laughs> no one. I got shamed by um. Uh, first year recently, like, oh, you used Facebook, and I'm like, yeah, like, well, I, what, what was my it's friend? Facebook. Elliot. Everyone has Facebook. Not people who are 18 now. People who are in after 2000 don't have Facebook. They have TikTok. Do only have yeah, but that's too bad. I don't use TikTok. <laughs> I refuse to use TikTok. It's it's a waste uh, of my time. I'm against it. At the beginning of this decade, Facebook was all the oh, rage. All the way, yeah. Like and I now added, we're in a new decade. Yeah, like I think I got in grade seven, and yeah, I was like, yo, Facebook Farmville. Farmville. Dope. Farmville was dope. <laughs> Loved Farmville. And then they made a sequel, and I was like, why? 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 What's with the sequel? But Farmville, dope. I love that we're ending this podcast with Farmville. <laughs> yeah. I think that is It's awesome. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's a good good bookend to uh, how, my, how my mind works. I think about Farmville on a daily basis. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for sitting with me. Yeah, this was course. so fun. Yeah, Definitely a check of, out. Had a lot of fun here too. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely check out Maxim's yeah. portfolio online. I was, was going to say check out Artversations, but like you're oh. here. <laughs> you're probably Hopefully here. Hopefully you're now. listening <laughs> on the platform yeah. that you're supposed to. But thank you for that yes, plug. I will take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll All right. see you soon. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for listening to the Art Versations podcast. If you like what you heard, subscribe, rate, and leave a review to help the podcast grow. As well, follow the podcast on Instagram at Art Versations Pod. That's A R T V E R S A T I O N S P O D. You'll find photos of each of my guests so you can match a voice to a face. Let's keep the conversation going. DM me with your own thoughts about art, as I would love to hear them. I'm always up for a good old-fashioned chat. Till next time.